Hey, welcome to Family Minute, a weekly installment to help encourage families to grow in their relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Jonathan, and today I wanted to talk to you just for a couple of minutes about probably what is the most foundational piece for every home and for every family to have. It's called family worship. Family worship is just three syllables. Sing, pray, read. So what do I mean when I say sing, pray, and read? This is for every family to gather around the idea of singing worship together, a song to God, reading the Bible together, and praying together. Every family is called to do family worship. Deuteronomy chapter 6 teaches us and Moses gathered all of the families. He gathered mom and dad, grandparents, aunts and uncles, and all that had been part of the Exodus. And he gathered them together and he said this, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. And then he says to teach this to your children, to pass this on to your family. And he goes a little bit further and he says to do this when you're walking by the way and when you're spending time together, when you're sitting at the table or when you're lying down for bed or when you're waking up in the morning. It was the emphasis that God would be at the center of everything that took place as a family. You are called, I am called, we are called to do family worship. Now, what is a family? Family isn't just those who have children. Families are couples. If you are married, you are a family. Families who may not have children are families that, that now you're an empty nester and your children move on. Family worship is for you. Maybe you're, you're a, a, an older family and you have grown children who are still living with you. Every aspect of that is family. And so we're called to gather as a family. And I want to encourage you that you would sit down and you would set a, a, a time, that a daily time, where this would, would be a consistent thing. And the reason for that is in Isaiah, it, it talks about this, this concept of building oaks of righteousness. Well, you know this, that a tree doesn't just grow overnight. And especially a mighty oak where the roots, the roots go down deep into the ground. It takes time for that tree to grow and it has to be exposed to the daily elements. The same thing is true for our families. We have to be exposed to the daily elements of what grows our faith in that worship time. Yes, we can come to church on a, a, a large gathering on a weekend and have family worship and our families there with us. But this is different. This is what takes place in the home day in and day out. That you get together and you come and you worship Jesus together. You open up the Bible and you read together. You, you take a moment and you pray together. There's always something to pray about. There's, there's no doubt in any family there's always something to pray about. And, and as far as worship goes, you can pick a song that, that your family is familiar with. Find worship music that draws our attention to Jesus. And as far as preparation goes, well, I don't have the time and you don't know my schedule. So many things are going on. This makes it really easy is that you pick up your Bible and you begin to read in, in, in a chapter or a place in the New Testament, Old Testament. And each day you just mark where you left off and you pick up and you start reading again the next day. And you can take just that portion of scripture and use that to pray about for your family. Or you can look at what's going on in your home at the current moment and make prayers toward that. Or even now, looking around our nation and world and all that's happening is good opportunities for things to pray about. But I have kids and it's crazy. My, I have a three-year-old and I have a 16-year-old. A, a and how do I do this? Well, let me just tell you this, that, that, that there's not going to probably be a moment during this family worship where just the angels are going to descend and your children are going to just sit in this pious position and they're going to be just all inspired by your words, most likely it's just going to look routine and it's going to look like maybe you you walk away from it feeling frustrated that anything you really get accomplished. But again, remember, we're building oaks of righteousness. This is seed planting. This is watering. This is taking time for it to grow. This is family time too. This means family. It's real stuff. You're, you're not in a church setting. You're not sitting in a sanctuary worried about what people are saying. You're not putting your best clothes on. You're gathered maybe in your family room or your living room or one of the other rooms in your house. And the likelihood is your three-year-old is rolling around on the floor or, or your dog stepped into the room and he's thrown up on the floor. It's just family time. It's common time. But the, the important part is this. That most nights you may never feel like the presence of God showed up. But the goal and the point is to create a place where your family gathers around what is most important. And that's worshiping Jesus. What is it that your family's gathering around now that, that has their attention? If it's not family worship, if it's not Jesus, I would advocate to you that you're not helping your family grow. So I want to challenge you in this family minute. Take time. Set time aside with your spouse, with your children, with your family. And gather to sing 
and worship Jesus, gather to pray together, gather, read to word together. This has been your Family Minute.